More for me. One final night in the open air, and then back to the city. Rest while you can. I fear that quite a bit of work awaits us. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And, bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books, or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? Past enough years that counting them is a waste of what remains. Which is to say, yes, I am that old. Ask it. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think. ...saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then... ...who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. I believe you. You remind me of another I knew. ...marked by forces beyond their control. The gods can grant power or strip it away... ...but so long as your will remains... ...you have the only weapon you need. Just what I need. I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Well met. Listening. My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kaleer had a hundred times circled Tyrell. Of course. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons... ...or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. They underestimated me... ...so they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the Frail, strengthens us. Hey, soldier. Yes! We need to go find Damon. I'm going to get a hug! Soon! Old Rusty? Sure.
I'm just happy to know someone can do something about this little situation. Thought I was alone, but I'm not, am I? With your help and Dannon's, I might be able to get a little more control over this thing. None too soon either. It's starting to wear me out a bit. Gate is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperial soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. Of course I envy him. Why wouldn't I? The problem with what Cazador has done is that he did it to me. If the time comes I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. My, my, you sweetheart. Then there isn't a moment to waste. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. And then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Cazador has changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. Tell me, what can I do for you? You know me, ever the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Oak Father preserve you. Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Though, in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. There is much to admire, judging by the stories. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. 
Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence. And perhaps work to a common goal. Given the circumstances, you're faring as well as can be expected, I suppose. friend. I have a darling to adore. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. require a new ally. Got to press on. Might as well take a look. Is that blood? No, never mind. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. 
sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Dream Visitor's protection. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the Dead Three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. Yeah. The reckoning is upon us. The city starts for domination. March. Join. We're under attack. Help me.
We will all become thralls. Never a dull moment. about to explode. I speak from some experience. Focus. 
again. It's not over. Come to the skull. Help me! to the skull. Hurry! I can't hold them back alone. to the skull. Absolute. I must. 
must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. Uh, I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. The Honor Guard. Eliminate them. My forces are weakened by their assault. But with your help, we can turn this around. Destroy the Guard. I will subdue their master. your best attempts to be subtle, the Mind Flayer's awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. You must be joking. I am telling you my thoughts directly into your head. But if you insist on taking a look for yourself, existence to date could have prepared you for this. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. Happy? Now, join me. Fight! <laughs> 